Hey everyone, everyone welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats. All right guys, we are in the midst of Martha Stewart Kitchen Week here on Five Minute Eats. Today we are beginning our entree portion. This is the Martha Stewart Kitchen Ready to Bake Red Wine Braised Short Ribs with Vegetables. Red wine sauce reduces down to a silky gravy, enrobing fork tender short ribs, carrots, turnips, and celery root. A touch of cocoa adds a rich depth of flavor to this elegant meal. This is $6.99. And it sounds very fancy, yes. but is regular people gonna like this? And is it going to taste good whenever you kind of dumb down a fancy meal into a frozen meal? And guys, if you're new to our channel, Basically, we review everyday grocery items, so before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Let's try this out. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back. Our rating system. Thumbs up, we buy it again. Thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. This is fascinating because I loved, I loved the ribs in this. The beef was really tender. It was seasoned well. I loved it. The red wine, just could not get into it. Not for me. Thumbs down. Hmm. Okay, for me, it's a thumbs down. I will agree. I loved the beef. This was great beef. There was no like fatty bits. It was fork tender because I had some qualms about that. I wondered if it was actually gonna be like that, but it was. This was great beef, very tender, flavorful. The gravy, I didn't, it, go ahead. I just felt like the gravy was like um, your typical gravy, which just a, I think the wine ruined it, just a nasty taste to it. I will agree with that. It was just like a basic, like barely seasoned gravy, but the wine added a not great flavor to it. It tasted like cheap wine. It's not great at all. Um, my biggest issue with the whole freaking thing though was the vegetables because they were completely uncooked. They were crunchy, yeah. almost as if they were straight out of the ground. So I did not love that because yet again, here we have quality control issues. And I think we might've experienced the same thing in the pot pie where the carrots were not cooked or something. There was some issue there too. So clearly there are issues over in Martha Stewart's kitchen. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.